Hello everybody, and today I want to show you this really stupidly insane with a skeleton farm. From my uh, extensive testing, it produces about 24.22 with a skeleton skulls per minute, and it is pretty laggy, but like on average I got about 43.98 MSBT, so it's definitely not unusable, but you have to be sure that you're the only one like using a farm or something on your server if you want to use this. Now, of course, that's assuming you even want to build it, or even you can build it in the first place, because it is a pretty complicated farm, as I'll show on the nether side. But as you can see, we have just a sliced portal, with all the nether mobs coming out of the portal and dropping down into a mob conveyor, and falling into a one-by-one -one hole where uh, some bots can kill them. Speaking of which, you do need about four bots uh, for this farm to work. They could be players or bots. Um, I just used the slash player spawn command with carpet mod and I got some bots. So let me actually show you what's going on on another side. In case you're wondering why this uh, portal for the person is so far away, it's because so that thing over there produces about 20 uh, mobs per second and if I had this any closer all those 20 mobs per second would just come speeding out of here and they wouldn't stop, like they would just keep going because this mob cap is independent of the nether mob cap which I'll explain later but anyway let's hop on through so yeah this is pretty much the farm, uh, I'm sorry about the frame rate it's just pretty laggy but anyway yeah we it's a pretty simple concept we just have gas sweepers on three floors and the only really challenge uh, for building this farm is just getting all those gas in there and of course on the overworld side slicing the portal but otherwise it's just simple redstone. So this farm requires about 84 gas which does seem like a lot but how I would go around building this farm uh, is I would like make this perimeter so because this is a perimeter this is like normal terrain but I just removed this and what I would do is just build a gas catcher farm somewhere over here and yeah, and then I would get all the guests here, and since we're in a perimeter, mob spawning rates would be much higher, and it would be much quicker to get all these guests here. Now obviously this is a super, super late game farm, and most people will probably not build this at all, I just wanted to show it as a proof of concept, but I will actually be building it in my uh, survival world. Um, that is the technical Minecraft survival guide, check that playlist out if you haven't seen it before. But anyway, here we have just like an activation line for all of the minecart rails. And you can check out the redstone uh, however you want. There will be a world download down in the description. But pretty much we just have guests sweeping the mobs. And they fall into a TT's 20 meter per second mob conveyor. Everything just gets sent through the portal. And the four bots, uh, we've already seen two bots there. But there, here's one bot. And actually over there we have another bot. And that is so that the mob cap in the nether is increased to 140. As you can see, uh, with me it's actually a bit higher. But yeah, now it's 140. And the reason we need that bot to be farther away is because if we have um, two people standing in the same spot, then it's uh, the extra player doesn't count towards the mob cap. It's only if you're separate. And the reason for these uh, nether brick fences is so that we can have a zombie pigment, a baby zombie pigment, fall through here because... Um, we don't want them coming through there because they would just kind of fall into the portal and I mean they would like fall between all of the collection stuff in here but anyway yeah this is pretty insane and yeah as I said 24.22 skulls per minute and I tested that over a course of an hour I couldn't test it for much longer because um, obviously this is super laggy so I can't take work that much but anyway, we just have that and a pretty simple collection system. Um, this bot here is actually the single most important part of this farm. He uh, collects extra XP here because this farm produces so much XP that one person can't pick it up. So we actually have to have another bot over here or some other players we're playing on a server uh, collecting the XP. And still some XP manages to leak down into here and we just have an XP filter. Um, everything gets pushed against the fences, items can fall down, XP can't, and it gets pushed against the lava. And yeah, right now it's having a bit of a lag spike, um, I don't exactly know why. Sometimes it has these periods of like, it's just getting much laggier. But for me, normally it ran about 43.9 uh, in MSBT, which it's pretty much, but 
Um, I was just kind of lazy here, but what I would actually do is make a perimeter here and for the other bot in another so that we have absolutely nothing loaded that shouldn't be loaded. So yeah, it's going to be pretty much it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to subscribe. Um, check out my Mob Farms playlist because there's going to be some stuff there that's way more beginner friendly than this. And I'll see you next time. Bye. By the way, if you're wondering about how to um, turn on this farm, because you have to do everything in a specific order, first obviously spawn all the bots. Um, these two bots, the this bot that's swimming, swinging the sword, and this bot that's, um, that's collecting the extra XP, I would suggest spawn them in survival mode because they would accidentally pick up items, and if they're in creative mode, then yeah, they would just continue picking up items, but they're, if they're in survival mode, they would just um, stop picking up items when they're, once their inventories get full. But anyway, let me actually show you how to spawn a bot. So you do slash player bot, um, we call it bot2, spawn, and you have to have carpet mod running, obviously. And then to make them attack, slash player bot2, attack interval, and put 12 ticks here because that's the cooldown I'm pretty sure. So yeah, and then to remove them, slash player bot kill, and you have to give them all different names, but yeah. And then what you have to do, you have to flick this switch um, so that we have this um, this thing going on here. Next, go through the portal, obviously. Um, go back here, and then turn on the gas sweepers, like that. And sometimes you will get like pretty extreme lag spikes like this, but normally it stays around 50 MSBT for me, maybe a little bit lower. And to turn it off, um, first you have to turn off the gas sweepers. So do that. And then wait until everything in here stops moving, so yeah. And then just go through the portal, and you can turn off your item collection system here. Um, just wait until you got all the mobs here all the way through, then turn it off, and then you can kill all the bots. So yeah, that's how you operate this farm, and yeah, just again make sure to build this only if you have like a decently good computer because all these entities obviously do cause a bit of lag, but yeah. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.